outpouring of and lots of reaction as well from people who covered him. Yeah, you know, before Lute got here that season, they only won four games. Yeah. And from a season in which they won just four games to four Final Fours, yeah. my predecessor, Dave Silver, well, he was along for the ride. Mm -hmm. For me, it was incredible timing. Lute Olson arrived in Tucson in 1983, which happens to be the same year my predecessor, Dave Silver, became a K-Gun 9 sportscaster. As soon as I got here, it was like, oh, wow, we have a, a big time coach. The Wildcats were coming off a four win season, but it didn't take long for Silver to realize Olson was going to be successful. You know, I think just the fact that we were able to see the U of A be competitive right off the bat. The Wildcats were soon a lot more than just competitive. They were you know, on their way to winning you know, Pac-10 titles and you know, bringing in quality players. And of course, you know, having Sean Elliott just around the corner didn't hurt. One thing you hear from fans, players, and even broadcasters is that Olsen made Tucsonans feel like winners. You know, they say, talk about him putting Tucson and the U of A on the map. I mean, he, he definitely did. That program definitely did. And all of a sudden, people that I knew outside of Tucson knew about Arizona. It was a quarter of a century ride for Olson, and Dave Silva reported on the success he brought to McHale Center. You know, I was very lucky, and I was just glad to be in Tucson and glad to be able to experience her from the very beginning.